here we are back at the villa after assassinating Vieri de Pazzi. Time to celebrate with the mercenaries and our Uncle Mario. A lot to discuss. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a buttare. More drinking and with whores. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe. And leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Now I'm all sad, I'm not reading shit. This is a walkthrough of gameplay, fuck that. Look familiar? Oh, they're codex pages. Yes, your father managed to find and translate a few of them for he. Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Just casual name dropping the of the greatest inventor in the history of the world. There is something under Kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful. Oh, bigger name drop. Hidden beneath the land. What is it? Mario just had to get here. Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. So we've got to find codexes. Apparently there's a bunch of hidden codex in this little shanty town. In the middle of Tuscany. Apparently. How convenient. It's almost like this is a video game. Oh, fuck. Just casually getting some codex. Hey, Claudia. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. 
father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. <laughs> Benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Fair deal, Claudia. How you change over time. You're also some, a very underrated character, Claudia. Very underrated. I mean, you're shit right now, but you get good. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto! He's very <laughs> observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well... You'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Totally. Let's fix up this town. We've got to, obviously, at least open up the shops that... Uh, closed first and foremost get all our shops open and then we can work on all the nice little uh, important locations like brothels gotta have a brothel that's totally important churches I hear religions a thing people enjoy and a well for things I think I know it's important first a brothel Obviously. Buon viaggio. Good start. Very good start. Good effort there, Etia. Not a bad start at all. I like it, my friend. I like it. Oh shit, here we go. Mario! Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Time to go see the sanctuary. Holy shit, you're walking fast this time, Mario. You're usually so much slower than this. You're walking as fast as I run. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought this six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. 
I think so. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Of course I do. Got a lot of work to do. And it's time now to head back to Firenze. Now as an assassin, Ezio returns to Firenze. Time to see our friend Leonardo. still alive look at this place the past two years have been kind to you but you are not the same at all are you no nope. I was hoping you might be able to help me with something anything for you my friend now at 19 ah, years of age it's your auditory how exciting hmm. this one is tricky to break clever in its use of ancient languages maybe if I just oh Oh, it seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Time to get our second wrist blade! Woohoo! Okay, and plus we get some new assassination techniques that certainly were not in Assassin's Creed 1. Which is actually funny because I always forget that this isn't in the first game because they're such literally just icon the most iconic assassinations that are in Assassin's Creed nowadays is these three here to me, you know, in a hay bale assassination, then the air assassinations, and of course the ledge assassination. But all of them were not in the first game. You could kind of do a hanging on a wall drop down assassination in the first game, but not a proper standing on a ledge and diving down, and certainly not in a hay bale or on a ledge like this. Crazy to think they're not in the first game when they're so iconic. And I let it done. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox? Shh. Papisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Stat ten tu amico. But now I've got our double wrist blades. Oh, so cool. So cool. Uh, just need a... I will get the van braces for that now, actually. Ciao signore, hope to see you again. Kadoosh, okay. Now we're gonna find La Volpe, the fox. We pride ourselves on delivering good quality at the same price. See for you first. Okay. So we're heading to the markets, and then we'll find La Volpe. Time for a fox hunt! There we go, there's a thief we're after. Uh, 
Yeah. What? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, my money. Your money. Uh, I don't have your money. You definitely, you definitely do have my money. Well, that was easy. Should have probably run instead of turning around and talking to me. I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money, and we'll call it even. Not so fast. La Volpe. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. You know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. Ah, uh, the There's Pazzi. Word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Yeah, cheers, bro. Could do with that money. Oh, epic dive. Did I overshoot it? Oh, the lock is up there. My bad. There you are, Lavalpe. Right down where I last talked to you. Follow me. But we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's your problem. Not a problem. You can't seriously, the Volpe, think you gotta outrace me, do you, man? <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. Oh, that's fu That's it, you're fucked. Here we go with the race. Lavolpe seriously thinks he's gonna out parkour the greatest assassin who ever lived in a video game. Ezio Auditore, how dare you, Lavolpe? How dare you? If I really wanted to, I could get that viewpoint and still make it make it on time. If I don't fall, that'd be great, Ezio. How about let's not fall? See? Look at that. Easy as piss. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle, turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna. Good fortune. I make my own luck. <laughs> oh wait, I don't need a stupid lame fucking catchphrase, I'm Ezio Auditore. Oh yeah, so here we go, the first assassination tomb. That's something I want to return in the next Assassin's Creed game like Empire. Assassination tombs. It's not assassination tombs, assassin tombs, or like missions of sorts. I could imagine going through some Egyptian catacombs or Egyptian tombs. Would be fucking awesome. The classic parkour style puzzle tombs. 
the simplest of foes. There comes a point where these missions are like muscle memory. Now it's time, I think, the leap of faith, I believe. No, 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 that's next. That's after I've done this section. And then I like leap effect in. I've played this game too many times. Far too many times. And yet it's never enough. Yeah, there we go. Surely all those guards notice the door just opened them, but... Didn't look suspicious at all. How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. Well, now we have a problem. The door's closed. I won't change the fact that these cunts are dead. Oh, wait. There are some guards here. That's okay. Why do these guys have hoods on? I don't think this is part of, like, the assassin's tomb, as in... It's not their architecture. They didn't build this catacomb. They just put the tomb underneath it. This is, that's what at least my understanding was. You're dead. Oh, good douche! I'm too quick. This door is opening. Oh no, there is the, f the flags of the assassin blade on it. Right there. At least for the assassin whose tomb it is. Plus, you know, all the levers with the assassin symbol on it. Why did I, why did I think it wasn't all built by the assassins? Or at least heavily influenced by. Because I'm stupid. Oh, you fucking moron. You fucking moron. I did not jump that. I absolutely did not jump that. Take two. There we go. That was embarrassing. Merda. The door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post. So help me God. Haha. <laughs> now you're all fucked. So let's take a look at who we've got. One, two, three guards. I think I can handle that. You're telling me I can't use throwing knives in the best place to use throwing knives? Totally. Oh, that was an epically long assassination dive. Right near a door for my escape. Now the two of them can walk over to the body. You're both fucked. Oh, look at that absolute stealth mastery skill. Saverio, I'll be back with the other guards. Saverio is d d d d d dead as fuck. And now you are too. Hey, Ezio, let's sprint, yeah? Let's run. Oh, there's no escape. I'm the white demon. Oh. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're making me do extra work, and I don't like that. I'm a lazy person. So I'm gonna have to really hurt you. No, nope, you definitely didn't get away. You're absolutely fucked. Oh! Nope, again, you definitely didn't get away. You are so close to death. Oh, so close. Leave me alone! Not gonna happen, buddy. Run faster! I got the high ground now. Oh! And he's dead. Actually, sorry, one, one more thing, bro. Just gonna take, take that money. I heard you guys got paid a lot. Oh, throwing knots! Those things I can't use in here. Totally makes sense. You were gonna tell these guards in here, weren't you? Can't now, you stupid fuck. Now, what's inside the secret door? Et benedictio Dei omnipotentes, Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Bernardo. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See. Si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. Ha 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 ha, you guys are so fucking funny. Do you think they suspect something? Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, May the Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, us. guide us. Well... Gotta look at some serious Templar mysteries and... Our first assassin tomb key. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Done. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Just gotta make sure we loot it all first. Take the gold and then apparently leave all this treasure stuff behind. Stupidly. Now we gotta stop the party's plans to kill the Medici. May cause civil war in Firenze.